Hello everyone. Uh, already we have seen the de design and analysis of algorithm structure series. Uh, in today's class, uh, we are going to see about uh, the fundamentals of the analysis of the algorithm efficiency. So in that algorithm efficiency, we have uh, two types of analysis. One is the mathematical analysis of non-recursive algorithms and second one is the analysis of uh, recursive algorithms. In today's class, we are going to see about the uh, how to analyze the non-recursive algorithms. Um, so in the non-recursive algorithms, uh, it is a... Uh, yeah, for analyzing algorithm, we have to consider the two main efficiency, one is the time and space. The time is a very important constraint. For example, consider, uh, for example, uh, there is a finding the largest value in the list of n numbers is the problem means. Um, so in the given list, we have to find out what is the largest value. So what is the procedure for finding the largest value in the given array? First, uh, we assign the first element as a maximum value and uh, check that maximum value with the remaining elements in the array. For example, if uh, the first element is in uh, maximum value means the A of 1 is equal to maximum means we have to check with the remaining elements of A of 5 plus 1 uh, from A of 5 plus 1. Uh, if that the maximum element uh, A of i plus 1 is greater than the maximum element means we have to interchange that maximum element with the first element. So this is the procedure for finding the maximum element in the given array. So uh, of, at the end of the array we have to uh, reach that uh, uh, after checking the end of the array, uh, which one is the maximum element, that element is written as an output. So, this is the um, analysis of a non-recursive. In that uh, analysis, we are there is no in, any recursion alga function is used. So, what is the procedure for analyzing the non-recursive means? Uh, there is a general plan for analyzing the time efficiency of non-recursive algorithms. There is a five steps process. First, we have to decide what is the input size. Uh, what is the input size of n? For example, in the given uh, problem, the input size is n. The second one, we have to identify the algorithm's basic operation. So, the basic operation means mainly it is considered in the innermost loop. Uh, the third one is check whether the number of times the basic operation is ex executed. That means how many times the basic operation is executed depends on the size of the input. If it is also depends on the uh, some additional features like the worst case, average case and best case efficiencies. So based on that we have to find that how many times the basic operation is executed. The fourth one set up a sum expressing the number of times the algorithm's basic operation is executed. So we have to find set up the sum. Then the fifth one using the standard formulas and rules of sum manipulation either find the close to form formula for the count or at the very least establish its order of the code. So the last one using the standard formula we have to find the efficiency of an algorithm. This is a general plan for analyzing the time efficiency of non-recursive algorithm. For example, considered in the uh, given problem that is a finding the maximum element in the given array. So what is the problem size? The problem size is n. So what is the bas basic operation is the comparison. The comparison of the maximum element with the uh, remaining element in the Array. So, the A of i is greater than the maximum element. This is the basic operation. So, the next we have to find out how much time the basic operation is executed. So, here we are using the for loop as i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, that time the basic operation is executed. So, using the uh, standard sum problems, we are find out how much uh, efficiency of an algorithm. Uh, so, this is the way we have to find the uh, efficiency of a non-recursive algorithm. I hope you can understand how we can find that uh, the efficiency. So here the sum manipulation uh, you are using that only the two uh, summations. One is the summation of i is equal to 1 to n uh, that is equal to how much time is one time means that is one. So uh, the summation of i is equal to 1 to n i. So these two summation problems are used here. Thank you.